So Damiano, as operators transition from 4G to gigabit LTE and on to 5G, we're seeing a lot of parallel trends around virtualization of the radio access network as well as the addition of new spectrum like CBRS that's lightly licensed and then unlicensed spectrum with an LAA. And I know you guys are addressing everything in that space. Can you give us a bit of an overview? Sure, absolutely. So we talked a little bit about Airstrand as a great use case for CBRS and three and a half gigahertz is uh, really a uh, fantastic way with its large channel sizes to deliver uh, you know, large, uh, very, very high, high, high bandwidth. Um, so we're absolutely addressing that already. Um, also, we have, uh, we already have a, a virtualization platform for our small cells, which is called Air Symphony, which basically is capable of creating gigabit LTE clusters by leveraging things like LEA, LTU, and uh, uh, obviously in, in the case of the United States, three and a half gigahertz is really a, a great use case. And well, how we do that basically is we have um, a cluster of small cells which are anchored on license bands. And the anchor frequency could be FDD, it could be TDD if you're agnostic. And we then aggregate uh, in around 20 mega, uh, other 20 megahertz channels on top of that. So we could have four channels being aggregated once to deliver. 800 meg on, on one user, and then at the same time the operator's network could deliver with uh, another anchor from another small cell, uh, 500, 600 megabits, 700 megabits here. So for the total gigabit LTE experience that, that the operator is able to offer users in densely populated areas is, is, is you know, on par with enhanced mobile broadband 5G speeds today using 4G ultra dense infrastructure. And that's why, you know, like we said earlier, small cells are a cornerstone technology for 5G. You know, the the net ultra dense network architectures are something that operators can deploy now, learn, and and and, and improve on as uh, as you know, 5G and R becomes available in the chipset ecosystem. But there's a lot that can be done today to deliver 5G experiences and use cases. Another use case which we we saw. In, operated with Sprint on was the flying magic box. So, you know, Internet of Things are all uh, easily enabled by, uh, by by small cells, and they make they make it possible for you know, people to uh, operators to deliver uh, high bandwidth in disaster areas or uh, blue light, you know, uh, ultra low latency. And there's things that can be done on the core to make sure that you know you're mobile edge computing and getting getting very low latencies close to where it needs to happen, autonomous vehicles. And these are all things that we've been doing for a very long time in terms of uh, uh, offering uh, wireless solutions for, uh, for example, McLaren, uh, Formula One team, uh, we delivered a solution to do uh, the backhaul of the telemetry of, uh, of data of the racing team, which is uh, absolutely uh, we're one of those applications where you need very low latency. Um, so it's it's something I think 5G and, and it's something we, we understand very well and we, we look forward to bringing our, our value to, to, to operators. And as we continue through 2018 and into 2019, how are you going to continue to reach out to these operators and continue to help them densify their networks and make the most out of the spectrum that they have licensed and the spectrum that they have available that's unlicensed? So I think that uh, you know, obviously our, we're, our, we're big, uh, big players about maximizing spectral efficiency. And we maximize spectral efficiency very well through our integrated relay backhaul technology. We're obviously expanding that. Um, we are also looking on ways to make small cells revenue generators for, for, for operators and we look forward to announcing how uh, our platforms can help operators actually increase their sales. They can use the sales tools to, to incentivize uh, consumers and, and, and reduce churn. Well, Damiano, I really appreciate you taking the time to keep us up to date on the great work Airspan's doing and congratulations again on the Glomo Award. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you.